greetings 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 my people welcome once again to my channel my name is biwa ricky comstaka nz this channel aims to showcase to you the best of the best high quality different from high premium silver collectible silver bullion coins past present future coins struck by means from all over the world so please do consider acknowledging our efforts and um, assisting the channel by hitting the subscribe button <laughs> Right, um, as you've seen, we are just looking to compare the Lunar series for the Perth Mint and the Royal Australian Mint just to give us an overview of the difference in styling and the difference in representation and philosophy um, used by these two different mints but in the same um, region, in the same, in the same country. Um, I believe one of the most noticeable difference that you can see is that when it comes to the uh, silver, uh, the silver for the um, for the Perth Mint and for the Royal Australian Mint, they have a different approach in terms of design. For the Perth Mint, they usually go with the mother and child. Uh, for the silver version only, um, the gold and the platinum, they go with a single um, creature, a single um, lunar animal, as opposed to your royal Australian mint, regardless whether it's your silver or it's your gold, it's usually the same design. So, I mean, there is not much to to say in terms of the two comparison, but I will be comparing the later years, the later years for the um, for the ox. Then I will move to the tiger. So this is what you have for the Perth Mint, and this is what you have for the Royal Australian Mint. I mean this. Um, this design is self-explanatory as you can definitely see what is going on what are the differences the philosophy of each mint they have their own style in terms of design and yeah they do follow it to the book however looking at the obverse you can see that there is indeed a clear difference with regards to how the royal australian mint and the perth mint have done theirs the Royal, the Royal Australian Mint have gone a step further than the Perth Mint, showing them class and showing them who's in charge. Really, this obverse is probably the best obverse that you can find in any lunar series. And for the year, um, for that particular year, the animal that is being represented for that year is represented at the top so the ones that are coming um the tiger will be rotated and claims this top spot your rabbit in 2023 will also come it will be rotated like this and being put at the at the top that is how that is how it is if i am not mistaken um yeah i will show that for the tiger so before we move on to the tiger i want to definitely um do my usual appeal to you guys um just um go and um hit that like button for me just spend two three four five seconds just clicking on that like button it does um help the youtube algorithm to rank this channel as one of the um favorite and most informative um channel that you have and um also if you are a returning subscriber not subscriber if you are a returning viewer if you always come back to this channel and you are not subscribed please kindly um hit that subscribe button for me it does help me um it does help me quite a lot it helps to keep this channel afloat it helps to prevent this channel from going extinct so your generous subscription will be appreciated goes a long way for me thank you all right um let me pick out the tiger here to see if I am right or not yep got it bang on so the tiger has claimed 
the top spot as you can see the the ox has moved here so for 2023 the rabbit will come it will rotate so it's, it's it is an ingenious kind of um, obverse from the royal australian mint what they have done with it and looking at at your tiger similar to what i have explained for your for your ox really nothing nothing different um just the usual modern baby and you have the lone tiger for for your australian mint for i don't have the gold for the for the royal australian mint quite expensive so this is what you get for for the gold but in this version for the royal australian mint so you decide which one you prefer or which one you like in terms of design or which one is the best in terms of design i have um, been critical of this uh, particular design or let me say the background finish of the perf mint you can search um, comparing the 2021 Luna, 2020 um, Luna, and 2019 Luna, uh, Mouse, Ox, and Tiger. And you will see how I was critical of this particular background from the pavement, like as if they rushed the design or the design crept up on them. So just have a look at it and you will see my heavy criticism of them, which I believe they, they are aware of. And I believe that they've watched the video and they've seen how I have criticized and scolded them for this particular design. Anyways, that is it from my end. If you have enjoyed what you have seen in this particular edition, in this particular series of comparing the Royal Australian Mint to the Perf Mint Luna series, kindly help me out smash that like button and most importantly subscribe to the channel and with that i will definitely be seeing you guys in in my next video so stay tuned thank you very much stay tuned for 2022 whatever comes in in the year 2022 will be will be good so yeah indeed just stay tuned and i will definitely upload some some videos thank you thank you very much and have a nice day